staring you down. Oh, I know. I, right. I see the lunch, man. We're going to launch right into it. We're going to Fountain of Dreams here. Right. Sheik versus Puff. Now, this is a kind of a fun one. Um, by that, I'm being facetious. Honestly, it's it's kind of tough moments for Sheik. Um, down throw is kind of scary at certain moments. Uh, yeah, you can down throw to, into like Fair or Nair until like 40, but that that's so what? Uh, at the, after that point, things just get kind of problematic. And if you get rested um, at earlier percentages, you might as well just die and then come back and uh, try to just see if you can get the oh, damage. Oh, great stuff there with just the Tomahawk. There we go. Into forwarder. He's playing a lot cleaner than he did uh, in... They played in... I want to say winner's semis. So he's bridging the gap really... So what Hamlin is doing is bridging the gap really well between 40 to 140, right? Yep. Those percentages in between, Sheik has to get spare hits and things like that and avoid Oh, he's got a possible hit. punish here. Goes for the fully charge up smash, yep. which will kill off the top at 67%. A little Starting bit of height like... just helped out a little bit more. Yeah. Just that extra lift. Oh, it's not often him. that you're getting that, by the way. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hamioja trying to space out on the ledge, making sure that he doesn't get caught up by anything like Pound. Mm. All right, another down smash. Four tilt, Needle. Goes in for the grab, but not enough Needles to maintain the shield stun. There you go. The crouch cancel on the Pound. Hamlin being smart about it. Every time you crouch cancel, it's a, it's a little bit scarier. Yeah. Uh, because you're you're leaving yourself open for that invite. Oh, I'm wow. Holding, holding steady, and I can potentially get rested here. He did a turnaround on the ground there, actually. Just to really shake it up. All right, Ham Yoja looking pretty clean here. Three stocks up. Ooh, fair cross up. Okay, yeah. good grab. And he's been. I don't think he's whiffed a grab yet today. Ooh. Oh. Gr oh my goodness. Yeah, that's uh, that's the scary part. Puff negates rock paper scissors in some ways, right? Because yeah. you have rock paper scissors between attack, shield, and crab. Yep. But when she crouches, that character uh, yep. can negate some of that. Um, now, if it's within even three frames, I think it's like after she crouches, there's three frames there where it's just it doesn't matter, it's irrelevant, and then you can just rest. I'm not sure if it's a character specific thing. I was talking. Uh, to some re uh, some local puffs about it a little bit more, trying to understand. But yeah. Puff just has the ability to kind of take some things off the table for Sheik. Oh, and he's trying to bait that. He's trying to bait the grab as he comes down again. Yeah, but Sheik grabbing. I mean, Hamp Neo has been doing a great job of avoiding these situations where he might get rested out of grab. Oh, gets all the way up. And he comes down with a tomahawk grab. He's going to be able to get... Something off this forward air there. He was concerned that Blue Zap was going to have control of his character and was going to rebuttal for the fair and beat him up preemptively. So yep. he guessed that Blue Zap was going to drift back down on top of him, and that's where the up smash was going to yep. come into play. But regardless, Hamlin does a good job of closing out that stop. Yeah, managing to clinch it. All right, Blue Zap considering his options, it seems. I've never seen anyone eat Starburst so par like particularly as you, Nabil. I do it so. I can still talk. That's fair. He like, I nibble at he it. Nibbles, and I'm a, I don't know. I I'm usually take the whole bite. If, yeah, if I don't have a, obligations. Yeah, to the people. You don't want to get sticky or anything. You know? yeah. yeah, it's also just like I they're like them. mortar. They're like getting your molars, man. Feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like you can feel your teeth getting pulled out. You're just oh like, ah. yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, all right, we're sure. going back to FOD. Blues have not happy with last game. Uh, as he shouldn't be. I mean, that was pretty rough. Uh, Hamiojo did a good job of controlling early on and just continuing to do so. But now, Luzaft yep, trying to see if he Hamiojo with the SD. <laughs> oh, I thought for a second he was going to give him the homie stock up. No, nah, we got money on the line. Yeah. Hmm. And I think we had a pretty good amount of entrance today. Not entirely sure how many. But I don't know. M could probably oh, tell Oh, we got the rest. Tried it. He had really good DI there for a bit. But you really have to, it's so difficult. Oh. Mm. Yeah, Blue Zaps already firing back in a huge fashion. I mean, the one ST. Oh, yep, just trying to make him do it again. Oh, my gosh. Down air, down air, fair. Let's go. Good spacing. All right. This Hamlin has playing this calm and cool. He's not trying to do anything overly oh, wow. crazy. That was a little... Bit yeah, close. Just barely nudging himself over the ledge. And another SD! What are you doing? Oh my goodness. If he gets the four stock here, it's going to be huge. It's going to be just an enormous momentum shift as he throws him up into the air. 
Oh, he tries to go for the up tilt. Fair won't kill quite yet. His chill travel all the way across the stage. Gets the okay. grab. Gets him off stage. Grabs ledge. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Yo, baby! Blue Zeft fires back. <laughs> Amiojo not pleased with his SDs at all. Yeah, he knows he messed up. Yeah. It's just, just funny look because... At this, look at this. Immediate. Mm -hmm. Immediate crouch just saying, I know I just did dash attack. It's super unsafe. I'm just immediately go for crouch. You know, that's... It's the reason why it kind of is annoying for Sheik in a lot of ways. It's like going for grab. Like, th th like down throw is like your best tool. Like, yeah, one right? of them. Oh, all right. And then you get to told that you don't get to all use right. it at all. So now you have to figure out other ways around it. You have to play in a different, completely different manner. Yeah. Auto space fair still very good against Puff. Yes, um, hundred percent. But having that removal of such an integral part of her kit. Exactly. Right. It's it's like saying you know this is this is a big uh, part of me. Like I just I love every other aspect of you. Like oh you're great. It's just this one part. Yeah. So you, get rid of it. It's like a teacher that gives you a gold star for something that you're really good at, and you're like, oh, it's sweet. And then you get a sub, and he's like, don't do that. It's wrong. <laughs> I like wrong. that. I like that. That's good. You know, all these foxes coming in, they're like, oh, geez, I guess you really got me with that. <laughs> and the puff comes in, it's like, no, sir, not today. No throws for you. Oh, God, I just go to Key and Peel and substitute teacher in my head. <laughs> Please. <laughs> do I have a Do I have a Sheikah? Do I have a Sheikah? <laughs> Sheikah, speak up. It's, it's chic. All right, it's the down throw fair. We've got pop-offs on the other side of the venue here. All right, the fair will trade with pound. Rising bear? No. Right, down tilt? No. Oh. Goes for the spot dodge. Oh, wow. All right. Just gets him right off of him, and he's got him in a ledge situation here. As both of them just glide right back into neutral. Honestly, uh, Puff has some of the scariest threat ranges in this game. Just the amount of air mobility she gets. Insane. Oh, snap the ledge. All right, oh. trying to MTK, but he only does two Shino stalls. It's punished for not getting another one out there. Got to be another punishment alone. The amount of landing like you get off of up B is pretty bad. It's it's terrible, honestly. Yeah, but it's okay. We live and we play in melee. Oh, all right, dash there. attack. Up tilt? No, instead waits. Oh, Whoa. wow. He's just he's, he's in that situation again where he wants to get another rest. Blue Zap is, is crouching constantly next to Kamiojo to actively condition him and say, don't try to grab. You'll yeah. see, you know what's going to happen. He's just trying to remove these options, just limit his possibilities. It's getting into his psyche. It's him trying to solve Hamyojo. It's him saying, look, I'm actively like crouching in front of you. Grab. Please do something. You. Please. And Hamlet has to oh, see this. Oh, and the stage spike and actively think, okay, I can't grab. And one of the big things is that it makes the amount of like option select that Blue Zap has to do that much smaller. Mm. He's suddenly able to do run-up shield a lot more safely because Hamyojo is expecting that crouch. Just snap ledge. To make it back. Oh, but the drop down back here. Covers so much space. Hamlin doesn't want to take any damage here. Because honestly, at this point, oh, all right, that will kill. So I was going to say that Rest is still on the table, but now it is not being down the stock. I mean, he has it 0%, which makes it a fair sight safer. Um, you know, not being able to get huge punishes off on Puff. Drop down back here. Excellent. Yet again. Ooh, the jab avoiding the up smash. Interesting. I don't think Blue Zaps used that once this set. Yeah. He's definitely playing a running gun kind of game with Sheik. Um, Oh, all right. smash. He's down. He, oh my goodness, he fishes out for it. He's not going to be able to make it back to stage. All right. Now all this takes is one rest. And Blue Zaft is able to win this in winner's side. Hamyojo has to just get one hit, and he's able to reset the bracket. Yeah, we better be doing it's that only 11.32, homie. You're good. All right. Hamley, you better do this quick. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make this comeback, you better make it happen, boy. <gasps> you better make it happen quick. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the one time F smashes. Oh, he just goes so deep. I don't, I don't even know why he did it. Great he power shield there. All right, back on FOD. Oh, unsafe down tilt. Mm -hmm. All right. And Hamlin knows. Man, Blue Zaft has just been playing 
this crouch game so cleanly. Yeah, that definitely has been integral to a lot of this game. Oh, a lot of up airs there, about three. Dash attack, curiously enough, and Sheik firing back with her own. Ooh, okay. Right. Trading fair with fair, fighting fair with fair. Oh, and there it is, the first shot from Blue Zap. Yep, fair to up air. The finish. That will trade. Sheik able to make it back. Oh, and he was just waiting in place. He knew the exact distance of the roll. He knew exactly where he needed to be. The up smash was there, perfectly timed. And at that distance, he didn't have to worry about get up attack. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to worry about slow get up. Mm -hmm. Because he was at that percent where all of a sudden you're just able to walk up and do things to people in those moments. So Hamlin with the finish there, but he still has a bit of ground to make up here. Uh, after that first rest, and particularly after that well spaced up smash, Blue Zapch is in a clean position right now. It's already got him off stage, but Tam Yojo trying to get back on with back air. And suddenly things have changed. Ooh, multiple jabs. Oh! He already had the down smash out as the rest animation started. So he wasn't able to change anything and get a bigger punish off of it. There it is. And just like that, Hamlin has done a good job of creating an equalizer. Yep. Percentage is no problem. Well, not oh. for Puffster. <laughs> Oh, oh, and he's already off. He has his jump still. He's going to be able to make it back on, but she's going to be able to rest punish. right there. All right. Yep. All that he's going to be able to get off of that is up smash. Oh, wow. Blue Zap just ever so slightly peeking around on his auto fair spacing. Oh. oh. All right. Since 67 at this point, tippered up smash will kill, but not much else will other than fair. And even then... The side blast boxes of FOD might keep him alive longer. He's going to try to bait him to go high. No, he just disengages. Yeah, he tries to do that with the needles, but there's only so much he can do with parallel. He hasn't really made Puff much of a pincushion this match, though. No. She's difficult to lock down with needles, honestly, because uh, she just she's small, firstly, mm. and secondly, I mean, she can just jump out of the map here, which makes it a, a less effective gimping tool, so consistency is required to make it happen. Through persistence, Hamyojo has just done such a great job of closing the gap. Yeah, he needs to make sure that he doesn't do anything uh, over Zaylitz, because if yeah. he does down tilt, if he does grab, if he does anything that is a bit too much, Luzap is ready with the shotgun. And at this percentage, he can kiss the stock goodbye. Yep. Careful, methodical right. play on both sides of the table. Oh, and the whiffed wave land. Unfortunate SD there. As I say, careful, methodical play. Commentator's curse, man. I haven't done that in a long time. It's uh, it's happened a lot tonight. It's a tricky one, man. Mm. Okay. All right, so we got game two. And Blue Zaft, all he's got to really do is clench this last one out. We're going to FD for the counter pick. Just doesn't want to mess around with platforms. But in turn, this makes... Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Managing to DI out of the down air in such a way that he doesn't get hit by anything else. Hamlin trying to not overexert himself. He's, He's just trying to just keep going with fares and whatnot. He's not trying to get on the ground. He is throwing out a lot of hitboxes, though. Though that conditions your opponent to shield, we haven't seen anything come out of it. He doesn't want to be on the ground. He's not trying to overextend with a grab. He's not trying to overextend with a down tilt. But he's content to just continue to do uh, fares and bears. I think the dash attack's a little bit risky, but all right, that works. He's playing just this sort of, it's semi-campy in a way. You know, it's particular in what I'm, he's willing to use within his toolkit. He's but. wanting to use tools that are relatively safe considering the matchup that he has. Mm -hmm. He can't be grounded. He can't do anything like a down tilt or a launcher on the ground because he could potentially get uh, KO'd from that. So, I think the biggest thing that he needs to be aware of is Puff coming down on top of him. Uh -huh. Because Blue Zapt has just been... Oh, wow. Spot dodge there to just get out of the down smash. Blue Zapt has been pretty, pretty good about just coming down on top of him with late aerials or mix up on that or just coming down straight and tomahawking or crouching in front of him to bait the grab itself. And right now, Hemyojo 
playing super particularly. Oh, see, right there. That right jab could have killed him. But granted, it's a three frame jab. All right. Good answer here. Nope. Yep. Dash attack gets countered with another. What is he doing? He's got to have space. Very particularly, but he gets hit by the back air anyway. Finds the forward air. Okay. Now, 97%. This game is about stitching together a match, stock after stock. There, that's what Hamlin wanted. One needle is a ton of percentage. Yeah. He slams well, one, on one, a down one, smash. One round of needles, so to say. Yeah, it's 18, yeah. right? 18 uh, 17. 20. 17 with full hit. Oh, okay. Well, he's been stacking it on. And he has this percentage lead. Oh, oh. very risky position right there. He's going to be able to get the grab. Up throw, though, won't get much off on Sheik. She's not at a great weight for that. All right. Great land and down smash. Like we said, we've, he's been doing a lot of these aerials, so that was actually a great option because uh, Blue Zap has been sort of put into this position where he wants to get out of shield as soon as the aerial hits to do something. So Hemyojo landing and then immediately down smashing to kind of trick Blue Zap into getting out of shield early. Hanlon's been doing a good job, though, of staying above Jigglypuff. That's, that's the big thing, right? Is that yeah. he'll be above pop when it comes to fairs. He'll be above whenever they're going air to air. Yep. Alright. Oh, and he manages to get it. If that had killed, this would have been a lot like Smash 4. Not about it. Alright. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Great space back air there. Alright. Makes the most sense considering the context. Wait. Didn't Blue Zaft win last game? Did Blue Zaft win last game? I don't remember. You're talking to Sleepy Ned. Yeah. Hamlin's up again? Oh, that's... Hamlin's that's up right. stock. Or he was. 15% is nothing. One mistake could be fatal here. And Hamlin All could right. be on top as well, though. At 60%, he's building quite a wall of a lead. Yep. All this needs at this point is one rest, though. This game over. Wow, Hamlin taking the risk, going for the dash. All right, another up throw. He's just trying to catch him as he comes down. Reverse Nair hitbox. Combo breaker Nair. Yeah, he's just trying to get these needles out. He doesn't want to do anything stupid. There it is. And that's going to do it. All right, that's the set, ladies and gentlemen. And also the tournament. Ham Yojo coming back and resetting the bracket, making it happen. Oh. <laughs> So, <laughs> we have our Ooh. grand champion, Ham Yojo, after initially being knocked out into losers by Blue Zaft. Huh? And coming back and taking it 4-1 over him. Man, oh, very solid. Back. Very solid point. Ham, give me some music. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's that sweet epic music that we had earlier. I needed that. All right. Okay.